Hey guys, it's Domestic Chris here, and I'm going to show you all the goodies and talk to you a little bit about the Walt Disney World Marathon Weekend, uh, January 2017. So, I am a runner. I may not look like one right now, but I really enjoy running. I fell in love with running when I was in the military, and it's just always kind of my go-to exercise. And I just really didn't think I would do a marathon. That sounds really crazy, right? But my sister, she did a marathon and she's really inspired me on my run journey. And I thought, wow, she can do a marathon. I could do a marathon and um, really encouraged me to do that. Then one of her friends um, did a race at Disney World. And I thought, oh, if you can do that, that's where I have to go. And then I heard about the Dopey Challenge, which is a 5K, a 10K, a half, and a full spread out over four days on Marathon Weekend. And I thought, oh, well, I definitely have to do that. <laughs> then I heard about Coast to Coast Challenge. If you do a race at Disneyland and Disney World, you get a special medal. And the race that best signed up for that was the light side race. So then if you do both Star Wars races, you get a special medal. And I thought, I meant to sign up for that. So <laughs> thankfully I was able to afford and take time to do that. Um, and I've had a really great time in all those run Disney experiences. But today we're going to talk about the marathon weekend. This was a big trip for us. Um, so our first trip really ended up being as a family to go. Um, I was had just graduated from nursing school and it was a lot of really good and exciting things. So my children and I, my husband went down there <coughs> and I put them in a race too. So I'm gonna show you the shirts they got. Say, kids races are in Disney. I did it from Go-Go Squeeze. There was all the free Go-Go Squeeze you could eat during Marathon Weekend. It was a lot of fun. And their little medal looks like this. It's um, not a metal medal, the little rubber medal. And up until this year, actually, even the 5K medals were like that. And 2017 was the first year that the 5K medals were metal. <coughs> so here's the 5K shirt. It's Pluto 5K. Sponsors on the back. And here's the first ever medal, 5K medal, with Pluto on there. Next after that came the 10K. A lot of people really like the 10K distance. This is Minnie Mouse. And here's her medal. It has polka dots. Love it. And then there was the half. Now, this was the 20th anniversary of the half. Ooh. They gave me a really neat um, luggage tag. It's on my suitcase, I forgot to take it off. But it looks just like this from the metal. If you know anything about this, the race was canceled because of the rain and lightning and thunder and oh no. But a whole bunch of us went out, we ran it anyways. I did, I ran around the lake between Pop Century and Art of Animation. It was a wonderful experience. So many people were out there in their costumes. I had my Belle costume on and it was just a really, really great experience. There was people running all over property from their um, treadmills in their resorts to around different parts in the park. You just saw people running everywhere that day. It was such a neat, unifying experience. And I think it was a great way to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the half marathon at Walt Disney World. People just do it anyways. Then came the full. It was so stinking cold that day, it was so cold. <laughs> it was so cold. There were people, there was clothes left everywhere. Everybody had their um, little blankets on. We found some trash bags <laughs> from a guy at the water stand and we put those on. It was so stinking cold. Then if you complete the half and the full, you're goofy. <laughs> and so this is the goofy shirt. What I also think is neat is on here, on the sleeves, I forgot to show you this, but they show you what parks you ran in. So this one goes through all the parks because you go through um, the half, I mean the full, and it goes through all four parks. And here's the Goofy Challenge medal. And then if you do all the races, you're beyond Goofy, you're dopey. <laughs> and so this is the shirt for that. And it shows all four parks. And here's the big bling blong for that one. It was so neat. Now, when I registered for the race, I bought some extras. You know, I have a Disney tree. Talk about why I have a Disney tree up here um, in my Magical Moments video, but you could get an ornament. I had to get the ornament. So this is the Run Disney 2017 ornament and it shows kind of like a map on the shoe. So cute. But to get this, 
it came inside this turbis, which is cool too. But I'm not really a big turbis fan, so my friend Emily, this is for her. I need to send it to her. I also bought pins because I collect pins. But little did I know, the pins were just mini metals. Look at that. So I need to put them on my pin board, but it seems kind of almost silly to have the metals and the pins because they're like the same, just smaller. But it's pretty cool. So that race was amazing, but truly challenging. Um, my mother had passed away in October. I had gotten up to 20 miles before the marathon. I would have liked to have trained more. Um, I started stress eating, getting her out of school, the loss of my mother, a whole bunch of stuff just kind of collapsed on me all at once. So I was not as well trained. Um, stretching is like flossing <laughs> and stretching has never been my strong point. And so I ended up getting hurt during the marathon. I made it through the marathon. I, I was fine really until I got home. I talked a little bit about that in my chatty check-in video from a few months ago. But I did end up with um, some tenosynovitis, which is very painful. I thought I had ruptured my tendon, my Achilles tendon, and my left foot hurt really bad. I was in a boot for several weeks. I had stress fractures on my metatarsals, like this part of my foot. And even, I mean, I walked the 10K in California. I mean, I walked in a boot. My sister wheeled me around. We, um, I just participated in the dark side and I walked the entire half marathon because I'm not fully recovered from that yet. Um, and I'm on steroids for another issue. But anyhow, back to marathon weekend. It was an amazing experience. I went into it thinking I'm probably just gonna do this once, but a lot of people do it all the time. A lot of people don't be every year. <laughs> They're gonna be doing the 50th one next year. I learned two things about myself during this event. One, I love Ron Disney. I love Run Disney and the half marathon experience totally solidified that. Run Disney is amazing. It's expensive, but it's great. The people are, that you meet are amazing. I got to meet, <coughs> excuse me, Sid in his costumes and he carries the flag. And if you run into Sid at the marathons, you know he's a great, great guy. He's just so fun talked to him for the first three days of the race couldn't find him a marathon day uh, i did see him uh though with his flag he was amazing um but the people were just awesome the event went really well um make sure that you get your times in on time i forgot to put in my marathon my times for the marathon and so i was way back in a further corral which was kind of a bummer um and i stood in a really long line because <laughs> i put in my time for the light and dark side but anyways they would not bump me up but they took really good care of us after they canceled the half and offered you know refunds and stuff and i was able to get those disney um one day park hopper passes, which, you know, they didn't have to do that. And that was really gracious and awesome of them to do that. And they even came out, you know, and supported those of us who were running around like crazy people, um, you know, once the weather got better. So it was a really great experience. I would love to participate in each of the um, events once. That's my new goal. I don't need to do a bajillion at a time, but I would like to participate in one of each um, event. I think it was really fun. And my cat is trying to climb in the window. <laughs> um, anyways, and then I found out that I don't like full marathons. I'm glad I did it, but I'm not uh, going to do that again. I do like a half. I like a half. That's a good distance for me. So I learned that about myself. It's good to know. Anyhow, I want to thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm sorry that it's taken me such a long time to get these videos out, but things have been really crazy and I'll tell you about that soon. So until next time, guys, I'll see you real soon.